Hey guys, I'm doing something fun today. I figured I'd just document it. I'll use this probably as B-roll at some point in some video down the road. Uh, but those of you who subscribe here to the Vlogs channel, this is the kind of stuff that doesn't really make it into many big videos. It's just things that I do for fun and for learning. Uh, you see here, this little pot. I sterilized lawn soil. So I basically dug out soil from my lawn uh, somewhere around here. Uh, sterilized it. I literally stuck it in the stove for it was like two hours or something like that to kill everything in it uh, put it in the pot ran a ton of water through it uh, to kind of leach out any uh, salts that that might have come out into the soil that would kill off plants if I start planting into it I've never actually done this before so I just read online this car I just read online in many different places that if you're sterilizing soil at high temperatures for a long time then the salts are going to come out um, salts so just leach them out that's kind of how my mind works uh, so anyway I did this and then here in the lawn over in the kind of nicer areas of Bermuda grass um, I pulled sprigs just a whole ton of sprigs and threw them into this pot because I wanted to have a pot of pure Bermuda grass the exact same Bermuda grass that I have in this lawn ultimately I'm not going to have Bermuda grass in this lawn eventually I'll get around to renovating the thing but I like keeping pots of things like back here I got buffalo grass and St. Augustine and over there I got Kakuya grass and we got many videos over on the Turp Mechanic channel where I've um, kept grasses all the cool season stuff uh, this is the Bermuda that I got here in the lawn I don't know if it's a hybrid or if it's common I think it's a hybrid but I don't really know for sure I didn't own this house I didn't plant the stuff so um, so anyway here we go in the pot sprigs um, are I mean, this doesn't look impressive. Let me flip it. Obviously, this doesn't look impressive, but what is impressive is this was grass that I just, like, I just pulled the stolen. Like, look, here you go. Like, there's a stolen right there. You just kind of do that. Cool season grass, that's now dead, but warm season grass, you put that stolen down, cover it up with some soil, and it starts growing again. Well, that's what happened here. Everything in this pot are just these things that I just covered up with dirt, and it's all growing. It's been like 10 days or so. We got new leaf growth and things are starting to come out of the ground uh, that I <laughs> point at this stuff. Things are starting to come out of the ground that were covered up a while back. Eventually, this whole thing is just going to look like a lawn. Um, but what I didn't do, I, I did put some fertilizer. You can see, still see some of the little fertilizer pellets sitting on top. I think those are the potassiums, the uh, sulfate of potashes. What I didn't do is put any rooting agent in there other than I, I mean there's some alfalfa meal in there but I didn't put any kelp or anything like that so over at my local garden supply store that's kind of like a small hardware store uh, B&B do-it-yourself center do-it-yourself center or something like that um, I just saw this on the shelf and I loved it uh, 16 ounces this thing cost me nine dollars nine so well uh, I know I link to expensive things online a lot but I also constantly, in video after video after video, tell you guys, my viewers, to go find a local home and garden store. Garden. I know we're keeping lawns, but lawns are just ornamental plants. Uh, people keep ornamental gardens, vegetable gardens. It's just a plant. Go to a garden store. Find stuff like this. This is the. This is exactly what you're going to find in all of the fancy, expensive products. Uh, that mix things together you spend like five times as much this is just a pound of liquefied natural kelp the exact same source Ascophilum noldusum it's that Norwegian kelp in the North Atlantic same stuff anyway this stuff is going to help with rooting so you've never done this before this is how you learn you just try stuff uh, instead of uh, soil drenching or dip drenching uh, the sprigs in this uh, before planting it I'm just going to put a little bit of this maybe an ounce or so in this cup fill it up with water and then just drench the soil uh, to help this Bermuda um, root down a little bit more we're just about ready to enter fall so temperatures are, we're not really going to probably see 90 degrees again we'll be in the 80s for a while I do live in a warm climate but it's not like an ultra hot I'm pretty coastal uh, so it's pretty mild warm temperatures mild warm season uh, climate environment here I guess uh, I don't have a tripod set up so I don't know 
maybe I'll, here, let me pause it. I'll put it on a tripod so you can actually see me doing it and then I can actually use it for B-roll in a video down the road. Whoa, messy. That is dark, man. Wow. Ooh, a little bit more than I wanted. Yeah, who cares? Let's see what happens. but um with that thanks for watching and i'll see you in real videos on the main channel sometime